Hi students, today the session I am going to discuss about the stoichiometric representation of chemical equation for reversible reactions, reversible reactions which is given in chemical equilibrium. Okay, so first you can identify how to write the chemical equilibrium, equilibrium constant for example A a plus b gives rise to c plus d is there students this is the gases phase gases phase gases phase and gases phase is there according to the law of mass action according to law of mass action this is the law according to the law of mass action equilibrium constant equilibrium constant equilibrium constant in terms of molar concentrations equilibrium constant in terms of molar concentrations kc is equal to products concentration divided by reactants concentration what is that products concentration by reactants concentration this is the representation of equilibrium constant so it is nothing but the ratio of the ratio of the product of the molar concentration of the products to the product of the molar concentration of the reactants and uh, each concentration term is raised to the power of the stoichiometric coefficient in the, in the balancing chemical equation. Let us consider this one Kc. Kc is equal to who are the products here? These two are products. C and D are the products and A and B are the reactants C and D are the products A and B are the reactants how to represent this equilibrium equation product of the molar concentration of the products product of the molar concentration of the products ratio of the product of the molar concentration of the reactants what are the reactants here A and B suppose if you have a stoichiometric coefficient in this equation, you have the stoichiometric coefficient 1, 1 only. Suppose, if you have any stoichiometric coefficient, each stoichiometric coefficient can be written in the power of the concentration term. Each stoichiometric coefficient, you can written in the power of the concentration term. This is called equilibrium constant with respect to molar concentrations expression. Let us consider few equations. For example, if you have the equation, equation number one, ammonia, ammonia gas molecule is there. Ammonia gas molecule, suppose if you have the equation like this, N2, N2 plus 3H2 gas is there. Just imagine, this is your equation. How to express the equilibrium constant? So equilibrium constant at a given temperature is the ratio of the rate constant of forward reaction divided by rate constant of backward reaction or the ratio of the product of the molar concentration of the products to the product of the molar concentration of the reactants whose power is equal to the stoichiometric coefficient in the balanced equation. So what is the stoichiometric coefficient? Stoichiometric coefficient is nothing but ammonia has stoichiometric coefficient 2 and nitrogen has stoichiometric coefficient 1 and hydrogen has stoichiometric coefficient 3 here 2 is the stoichiometric coefficient 1 is the stoichiometric coefficient 3 is the stoichiometric coefficient this is called reactant this is called product so now you can write products concentration products divided by reactant concentration product according to the law of mass action so you can take nitrogen power 1 and hydrogen power 3 divided by nit ammonia whole square. This is the representation of equilibrium constants. Understood the students? Now our concept is stoichiometric representation of the chemical equation. This is our present topic. So here you have some rules students, some rules you have. If you have the 
reversible equation if you have the reversible equation with the two or more stoichiometric coefficient for, for example you have stoichiometric coefficient stoichiometric coefficient stoichiometric coefficient if you multiply or if you divide or if you reverse that stoichiometric coefficient will changes and automatically equilibrium constant will be changes understood students so that's why i have written the conditions conditions wise i will explain so go through this one by one for example condition number one condition number one that is if the reversible reaction is if the reversible reaction is reversed if the reversible reaction is reversed then the equilibrium constant what is the equilibrium constant your equilibrium constant will be reciprocal of the equilibrium constant that new equilibrium constant this is your new equilibrium constant let us consider that is k dash that new equilibrium constant is reciprocal of the equilibrium constant understood so that means equilibrium constant is reciprocal so that uh, old equilibrium constant is there that equilibrium constant value will be reverse that is nothing but reciprocal this point you can remember understood students so let us consider with one example let us consider this equation equation you can take 2NO2 2NO2 gas state is there on river an equation you will get nitrogen gas and uh, oxygen gas this is the equation okay now i have reversed the equation i have reversed the equation 2O2 gas plus N2 gas gives rise to 2NO2 gas i have reversed this equation is any change in equilibrium constant let's check let us consider this equation what is the kc value for this equation what is the kc value for this equation kc is equal to nitrogen concentration into oxygen concentration stoichiometric coefficient stoichiometric coefficient here stoichiometric coefficient 1 here stoichiometric coefficient 2 for oxygen divided by stoichiometric coefficient of no2 how much stoichiometric coefficient of NO2 2 so that is nothing but we have written product of the molar concentration of the products divided by product of the molar concentration of the reactants whose power for example your power is nothing but its stoichiometric coefficient so this is Kc value now we have reversed the equation so here to here we have done the reversible equation we have reversed the equation if equation reversed then what happens let's check let us consider this is k dash c because i want to show the difference that's why i written now what is the value n o2 whole square divided by o2 and n2 and o2 has how much stoichiometric coefficient square and n2 has how much stoichiometric coefficient one so you should remember in the equation don't forget about forget about the stoichiometric coefficient this is very very important okay now compare just to compare these two equations if you compare what we observed i am doing this equation as 1 by kc if you do 1 by kc you will get no2 whole square divided by n2 1 and o2 square so this equation this equation both are same or not just to compare this one and this one both are same final conclusion k dash c is equal to 1 by kc so new equilibrium constant is the reciprocal of the equilibrium constant so this is the condition number one so please take screenshot it is very helpful if the reaction is reversed if the re reaction is reversed that new equilibrium constant will be reciprocal of the equilibrium constant k dash is equal to 1 by kc this is the first thing
so remember carefully okay students it's very simple don't confuse about this very simple okay this is the condition number one condition number one completed now i am writing the equation suppose if you have the question like this a plus b gives rise to c plus d c plus d gives rise to a plus b it is kc what about k dash c so it is nothing but this k dash c nothing but your reciprocal value because you have know that kc is equal to c into d divided by and here a into b and here you have written k dash c is equal to a into b divided by c into d if you compare these two k dash c is equal to 1 by kc that's all so this is about equilibrium constant okay students very good very good information so please note this point okay now condition number two students condition number two condition number two you can observe condition number two if if a reversible reaction is multiplied by a value n if a reversible reaction if a reversible reaction multiplied by n value suppose i am multiplying with n value reversible reaction multiplied by n value multiplied by n value then the equilibrium constant for the new equation then the equilibrium constant for the new equation will be will be kc power n so power of the n power of the equilibrium constant understood this point the equilibrium constant of the new equation the equilibrium constant of new equation of new equation is equal to kc power n let's check this equation with a few examples so for example if you have the equation for example if you have the equation n2 n2 plus o2 gives rise to 2NO this is our equation students both are in gas state okay now I have multiplied okay I have multiplied by n value I have multiplied by I have multiplied by 2 I have multiplied by 2 according to the formula it is kc power n so what is the resultant value kc power square so how much value are multiplying that value will come so we will check what happens we will check let's check the equation so let us consider this one what is the kc value kc is equal to no no square divided by n2 into o2 this is the equation number one so i multiplied by two multiplied by two means two n2 gas plus two o2 gas gives rise to two n o two two just four four n o understood this one it is multiplied by four four moles of n o then what is the new equilibrium constant you can write n o power four divided by n two power two into o two power two this is the equation now you can check both equation you can compare now i am doing kc square what is the kc square value if you look at the kc square value n o square divided by n2 square into o2 i am i am doing square so this square become power 4 power 4 power 4 square and square both are equal or not so from this what we observed that new equilibrium constant kc dash is equal to kc whole square the new equilibrium constant kc dash so this is nothing but new new equilibrium constant new equilibrium constant new equilibrium constant okay that new equilibrium constant is equal to k 
c square if you multiply with y n suppose i am taking 2 what is the new equilibrium constant it may be kc square multiply with 3 so kc cube multiply with 4 kc power 4 so that's all if you multiply with n it will become kc power n so this is the concept students so if you multiply with n value the new equilibrium constant of the equation will be kc power n value this point you can remember understood students suppose if you are dividing suppose if you are dividing the equation with n value suppose if you divide the equation with n value then what happens condition number three you can check condition number three if divided with if divided with if divided new equation equilibrium constant the equilibrium constant of the equilibrium constant of new equation you divide with n value n value the equilibrium constant of the new equation new equation will be kc power 1 by n so here how much n value you are taking you can take for example if you divide with the two value so that equilibrium constant equilibrium constant will be what is the equilibrium constant it will be that equilibrium constant will be kc power 1 by 2 understood this one if you take here 2 here 2 will come if you take if you, if you multiply with 3 1 by 3 will come if you multiply with 4 1 by 4 will come and so on with multiply with with divide with divide with sorry divided with if divided with divided with 2 kc power 1 by 2 divided with 3 kc power 1 by 3 divided with 4 kc power 1 by 4 divided with n kc power 1 by n will come this is the equation now let's check with a one equation for example if you have the equation like this if you have the equation like this let's take one equation n2 plus o2 gives rise to 2no i am dividing with dividing with dividing with two value dividing with two value n value is 2 then what is the equation n2 half n2 plus half o2 gives rise to n o gas this is the equation before n2 gas is there o2 gas is there it is a 2 n o gas now what happens finally you can identify what is the equation what is the chemical equilibrium equation here kc is equal to n o square divided by n2 power 1 why because trichometric coefficient 1 and o2 power 1 now if you divide with 2 divide with 2 what is the equation equilibrium constant that new equation equilibrium constant n o power 1 divided by n2 power half into o2 power half okay so n2 power upon half value and o2 power upon half value if you compare these two if you compare these two just to focus students now i am i am doing root over kc what is the value tell me root over kc is nothing but 1 by 2 only na kc power kc upon 1 by 2 so n n o square into 1 by 2 2 to get cancelled n2 1 into 1 by 2 o2 1 into 1 by 2 so what is the resultant value your resultant value same like this now so just read just read what we have n o n o and n2 1 by 2 n2 1 by 2 and o2 1 by 2 both are same only na? so final result k dash c is equal to root over kc value that is equal to kc power 1 by 2 this point you can remember this point you can remember very very important for competitive exams okay so if you divide with n value new equilibrium constant is equal to 
1 by n kc power 1 by 1 so this is very very important if n value means kc power 1 by 1 by n if divide with 2 means 1 by 2 will come if divide 3 means kc power 1 by 3 will come so that depend upon the multiplication value so these are the characteristics okay students so final conclusion final conclusion what i am giving if reaction if reaction is multiplied by multiplied by n value or 1 by n value the equilibrium constant will be new equilibrium constant will be kc power n and a new equilibrium constant will be kc power 1 by n so that's all over now now let's take one equation condition number four condition number four <coughs> if two reversible reactions added if two reversible reactions added if two reversible reactions are added then the new equilibrium constant then new equilibrium constant is a multiplication of the equilibrium constant of the react resultant equations understood the new equilibrium constant is equal to multiplication of the equilibrium constant of the resultant equation let's see one example you know very well h2so4 you can take h2so4 structure oh h double bond o h double bond o oh it is a dibasic acid it is a dibasic acid so dibasic acid it is a dibasic acid so that means basicity 2 basicity 2 let us consider h2so4 dissociated like this h plus plus hso4 minus now again hso4 minus dissociated as h plus and so4 minus 2 now i am adding one and two equation let us consider h2so4 converted into h plus and hso4 minus is first equation and hso4 minus 2 gives rise to h plus and hso4 minus so4 minus 2 consider as equation 2 now i am adding both equation 1 and 2 adding 1 and 2 then what happens this left hand term and right hand side term both get cancelled then h2so4 gives rise to 2h plus plus so4 minus 2 this is the concept h2so4 gives rise to 2h plus so4 minus 2 so what is the resultant equation what is the resultant equation h2so4 gives rise to 2h plus so4 minus 2 so this resultant equation you can write equilibrium constant h2so4 is the resultant equation as i told before resultant equation equilibrium constant is equal to product of the equilibrium con constant okay so h2so4 gives rise to 2h plus and so4 minus 2 so what is the equilibrium constant here equilibrium constant kc is equal to h plus whole square into so4 4 minus 2 divided by h2 so4 this is the equation okay now you can write our first equation equilibrium constant what is the first equation equilibrium constant let us consider this is k1 what is the k1 for this reaction h plus into hso4 minus divided by h2 so4 understood now let us consider this is k2 what is k2 value h plus into so4 minus 2 divided by hso4 minus so this is the k1 value and k2 value now you can take the equation k1 into k2 you can do what is the product of the k1 and k2 value k1 into k2 equilibrium constant product substitute the value h plus into hso4 minus 
divided by H2SO4 into into H plus SO4 minus 2 divided by HSO4 minus. What is the resultant equation? Just cancel the common term. HSO4 minus HSO4 minus get cancelled. So the resultant equation K1 into K2 is equal to H plus ion whole square and SO4 minus 2 divided by H2SO4. Okay. And resultant equation, equilibrium constant, you know. What is the resultant equation, equilibrium constant? Kc is equal to H plus ion whole square SO4 minus 2 divided by H2SO4. Now you can compare the two equations. This equation, this equation, both are same or not? So from that, Kc is equal to K1 into K2. So the equilibrium constant of the resultant equation is equal to product of the equilibrium constant of the equations in a given reaction. So this is the conclusion students. So what we observed from this equation, what we observed from this equation, just I am highlighting the important information, just go through this one. So here this is dibasic acid, we are adding the equation, we are adding the equation. So H2SO4, H2SO4 converted into H plus and HSO4 minus first basicity 1 and HSO4 minus further dissociated into H plus and SO4 minus 2. Add the two equations, you will get resultant equation. So the equilibrium constant is multiplied when the resultant equation if you have. So this is the equilibrium constant of the resultant equation that Kc is equal to product of the K1 and K2. Okay, so based on this, I am going to discuss one problem. Just observe this problem, students. Question Suppose if they are given the question like this, just remember the equation. Suppose if they ask the question, question they will give the equilibrium A plus B gives rise to K1, and um, B, uh, B gives rise to B gives rise to C uh, K2 value. And C gives rise to D K3 value, equilibrium constant K3 value. Then what is the equilibrium constant of the AD equation? They will ask the question. Understood? So this is the final equation. What is the equilibrium constant of the final equation? They will ask the questions. So in this case, in this case, how to solve this? So this reaction is obtained by this A gives rise to D reaction obtained by adding first, second and third equation by adding, by adding first, second and third equation. So what is the resultant value? Just, up, just follow this one, just follow this one. A gives rise to B, okay, A gives rise to B, A gives rise to B. And second equation, B gives rise to C. And third equation, C gives rise to D. Add the above equation and cancel the common term. B, B get cancelled, C, C get cancelled. So what is the resultant value? A gives rise to D. What is the resultant value? A gives rise to D. What is the new equilibrium constant? What is the new equilibrium constant? Products concentration by reactant concentration. So that means, that means what is the product here? D divided by A. So they are asking new equilibrium constant. So before I have discussed one word, before I have discussed one sentence, if you add the, if you add the equations, if you add equations, that new equilibrium constant will be product of the individual equilibrium constants, product of the equilibrium constants of the individual equations. So from this what we observed, the resultant value Kc is equal to, this is nothing but K1 value, this is nothing but K2 value, this is nothing but K3 value. So K1 into K2 into K3. So the equilibrium constant of the resultant equation is the product of the equilibrium constant of the individual equations. 
so this is the concept students so very very important for competitive exams remember this one i will give one question so try to identify this question okay students suppose if you have the equation NO, NO plus half O2 gives rise to NO plus half O2 gives rise to NO2 gas. NO plus half O2 gives rise to NO2 gas. Equilibrium constant K1. And second equation 2NO2 plus 2NO2 gives rise to 2NO2 gas gives rise to 2NO plus O2 gas, 2NO2 plus O2 gas. This is K2 reaction. K2 reaction. What is the relation between K1 and K2? They will ask, they will give the options like this. K1 is equal to root over K2, first option. And they will give the K1 is equal to 2K2. And they will give K2 is equal to 1 by K1. And they will give K2 is equal to 1 by K1 square. So like this, they will give the options. So how to identify this one? How to identify this one? Just uh, look at the equation. So these model questions previously, in NEAT and medical entrances, they are giving previously AIMS and JIPMAR also they are given. So focus on this one. Okay. So first we can write the K1 value. What is the K1 value? What is the K1 value? K1 value is nothing but NO2 into NO2 or NO into O2 whole square. What is the K2 value? What is the K2 value? O2 into NO whole square divided by NO2 whole square. Just compare. Here you have the numerator. Numerator NO2 you have. Here you have the denominator. Denominator you have NO2 square. So you can convert the given compound. You can reverse the equation. Rule number one, if you reverse the equation, equilibrium constant will be reverse. If you reverse the equation, reverse the equation, I am doing 1 by K1. 1 by K1 means what? NO2. 1 by K1 means NO. 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 And uh, O2 power 1 by 2 divided by NO2. I have reversed the equation. I have reversed the equation. Just compare. This is equation number 1. This is equation number 2. In numerator, we have the value NO2. In denominator, we have the value NO2. Just reverse. If you reverse the equation, you will get this one. Okay. Now, they have done squaring. So, now you can do squaring. Squaring. Square. You can do. So, 1 by K1 square is equal to NO square and O2 already half, it, half you have and 2, 2 to get cancelled and here we have the NO2 square. So both are same or different? Both are same only now. After that you will get the value like this only. So final conclusion your value K2 is equal to 1 by K1 whole square. So whenever you have this one you will get this answer. Understood? Otherwise, this is one process. Let us take the equations. What is the first equation? First equation, what do we have? Understood the process? We have written K1 value, 1 by K1 value. After that, we are squaring and finally, we will get the same equation. So, K2 and K1 relation. K2 is equal to 1 by K1 square. K2 is equal to 1 by K1 square. Your option D. Suppose if you want to do, we have another method also. See students, given equations you can write NO plus half of O2. Half O2 gives rise to NO2. And second given equation. Second given equation. 2NO2 gives rise to 2NO plus O2. So this is, just compare. Compare this equation. This is K1. This is K2. Reverse the equation. Reverse the equation. If you reverse the equation, what is the product? What is the reaction? NO2 plus half O2. NO2 gives rise to NO2 
NO2 gives rise to NO plus half O2. This is the reverse equation. So rule number one, remember, if you reverse the equation, that new equilibrium constant will be inverse. So you can write as it is that uh, that uh, new equation equilibrium constant will be reciprocal. So that's why I have written reciprocal. Now compare the two equations. Both are same. No. So now you can double the equation. Double the equation. If you double the equation, what happens? 2NO2 gives rise to 2NO plus O2. So if you double the equation, what is the new equilibrium constant? New equilibrium constant will be square of the square of the if you double the equation kc power n or not so you have done square k1 square whole square so finally you will get sorry students you can do the squaring only so finally you will get 1 by k1 square so now both equation looking same or not so final conclusion k2 is equal to 1 by k1 whole square so this is the concept so this model questions they will ask students compulsory they will ask the questions so identify the concept very very important for computer exams and one more model question i am giving one more model question i am giving just to go through this one n2 plus 3h2 gives rise to 2nh3 n2 plus 3h2 gives rise to 2nh3 n2 plus o2 gives rise to 2no this this is k1 this is k2 and h2 plus half o2 gives rise to h2o this is k3 then the equilibrium constant of then equilibrium constant of 2nh3 plus 5 by 2 o2 gives rise to 2no plus 3h2o will be what is the equilibrium constant of the new equilibrium constant new equation what is the equilibrium constant they will ask the question like this okay so how to do this one i will give one trick just to go through this simple trick okay first you can write the kc value for this resultant equation what is the kc value n o square and h2o cube divided by nh3 square and o2 5 by 2 present this is the equation <coughs> now you can write the k1 value what is the k1 value nh3 square divided by h2 cube into n2 this is the value now you can compare your nh3 square present in numerator your nh3 square present in denominator so that means what they have done inverse of the k1 compound or not yes they have done inverse of the k1 compound and next one you can write k2 value k2 value n o square divided by n2 into o2 n2 into o2 so you can compare in this resultant equation n o square in numerator here also numerator so no problem you can multiply with k2 why because we are adding this equation we will get the same equation next one next one you can write the k3 value what is the k3 value h2o whole divided by h2 into o2 power 1 by 2 so h2o they given cube so if you have kc power n times means what kc power 3 times means what indirectly they are doing triple they are doing triple the equation so they have multiplied with three number that's why they got the value kc power 3 so i am doing kc power cube that means k3 power cube i'm doing k3 power cube i'm doing so if you do k3 power 3 what is the resultant value you will get if you do the triple value if you do the uh, three times you will get h2o cube divided by h2 whole cube into o2 power 3 by 2 so this h2o power 3 this h2o power 3 both are equal so this is the final equation kc is equal to 1 by k1 into 
1 by k2 into k3 power 3. This is the logic. So, you can write the resultant equation kc value. And given equations k1, k2, k3, you can write and compare. So, this is one method. Okay. After that, if you want, you can check. So, what I have done? Reverse. Reverse I have done. First equation reverse you can do. And add the equation. First equation reverse I am writing. First equation reverse what? N2. First equation, if you done the reverse, what happens? 2NH3 gives rise to N2 plus 3H2. Second equation as it is I have written. N2. N2 plus O2 gives rise to 2NO. Third equation multiply with 3. Third equation multiply with 3. 3H2 plus 3 by 2 O2 gives rise to 3H2O. Because we are doing proof. Is it right or wrong? We will check. So now N2, N2 get cancelled. Now you can write left hand side term, left hand side. Right hand side terms you can write right hand side. And uh, cancel the common term which is placed in left hand side and right hand side. So left hand side terms 2NH3. And 3 by 2 plus 1. Here 1 coefficient is there. Here 3 by 2 coefficient is there. 3 by 2 plus 1. That is equal to 5 by 2. So 5 by 2, O2. Use raise to. Here we have the 2 and O plus. Here we have the 3 H2 O. So this equation and your equation. Both are same or different? Same only. So your answer. Correct. So your answer should be. KC is equal to. KC is equal to. 1 by k1 into k2 into k3 power q. So, this is the representation of equilibrium constant students, stoichiometric coefficients, concept. So, final conclusion, remember, if you reverse the equation, reverse the uh, equilibrium constant value. If you, if you uh, divide the equation, kc power 1 by n will come. If you multiply, kc power n value will come. If you take the dibasic acid, equilibrium constant of the new equation is equal to K1 into K2. If you take the tribasic acids, equilibrium constant K3, K1, K2, if you have, if you have tribasic acid like phosphoric acid, pH, OH and OH is there, you have three protons here. So resultant constant is equal to K1 into K2 into K3. This point you can remember. This is very very important for exams. If you add the two reversible equations, you can multiply the equilibrium constants. If you have three, if you add three reversible equations, at the end I have discussed. If you add the three equations, last example you can see I have added the three equations. Then I am multiplying. I am multiplying as one by k one, k two, and k three cube. So this is the conclusion students. So take the paper, take the pen, paper and practice. If you practice, it is easy to understand, you will answer the question. If you are listening also, no use. So take the paper and uh, listen and step by step you can practice. It is like a simple math only. It is not a conceptual topic. It is like a simple math only students. Okay students. Okay. So thank you very much students. Thank you very much.